Manager told us to consider other places to work. As you can guess, the story ends exactly how you think it will. We had someone who was promoted to a management position. One step up on a very long ladder. And instantly became a tyrant. For months she has made our lives hell and micromanaged every step of the way. One day. She got upset over a relatively minor mistake and sent us all in all caps email lambasting us for the error. In the email, she told us that if we couldn't do something so simple, we should start to consider other places to work because it isn't a good fit. Keep in mind, most of us have been here for a while and have been at the top of our KPIs for the region. Of her team of four, she received her fourth resignation letter today just a week and a half after her email. Haha, <laughs> every manager should know that you never ever threaten to fire someone or tell them they should look elsewhere unless you're prepared to let them go right there on the spot. Kind of wish one of you stayed so we could get an update on the fallout from her management. But I can't fault the exodus. Were it me. When I resigned I would have forwarded that email to HR and her boss. Stating. My resignation letter is attached. My reason for resigning is below. So I worked for a guy that was really pissed I spent my machine time. Machinist. On my phone instead of reading the paper like my older workmates. He gave me a list of shops that wouldn't care if I played on my phone while the machine did its. Thing. I took his offer and put in my two weeks the following Monday. Because at the time, finding a new shop inside of a week was easy AF. His surprised Pikachu face was priceless. I never tire of the, consider if you want to work here, stories. OUFFFFFFI wish I could listen in when she has to explain this to her corporate masters. You should all ask for exit interviews where you make it very clear why you are leaving. Good employees are sought after in many professions right now. And losing four at once will put quite the dent in her career. If she does not get outright demoted, Wyeck would probably be for the best since she seems to be the embodiment of the Peter Principle. HTTPS en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash Peter Principle Honestly my manager and the area director are some of the only reasons I stay at my job. We are not top of the pay scale for my industry. But the ease of working with chill people keeps me where I am. I got a small promotion and I refuse to act like this. When you finally find a place where the pay is living wage and people are good to you. That matters more than dollar 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 dollar. I had a tyrant boss once that threatened in a meeting, heads are gonna roll if you're not all here. Working till 10 p.m. if it takes. We were salary in a 9 to 5 job for an oil company. He paid his wife the same salary he got and she only ever bought office supplies randomly. Whenever he was pissed off he would refuse to sign our checks on Fridays. Most companies did direct deposit or had a signature stamp the office manager like me, but he wanted to be able to sign the checks and hold it over our heads. After his threat I asked for my vacation pay as a payout for bills and wouldn't take time off. Printed my last check, got him to sign it and walked out and never came back. Then I applied for unemployment the only time I ever had and got it because other workers corroborated his threats. Fuck yes. I hate her for you. Glad she's alone and has no one to help her now. That email sounds like, making threats, and, constructive dismissal, as well as, hostile and, abusive work environment. Classic blunder. Never give a statement that you aren't willing or able to back up. Half the time. I think people like that are just bullies waiting for the chance to wield power. The other half, are people who suddenly find themselves responsible for the results of their reports and freak out, at the stress. 
bet that felt good. I was the second person in one day to quit a job with O notice. Citing the same manager. Very simple. I quit. He's why. Environment is too toxic and unsafe to give notice. Bye. I happened to learn that there was no fallout B, C of nepotism. Which was a bummer. But doubly stupid in the current labor shortage era. If you insist. Had a manager who liked to threaten to fire me whenever she had a bad night's sleep. Had argued with her husband. Etc. It never had anything to do with anything I had done and she actually admitted it at some point. However. One day we had a difficult letter to write and she wanted me to write it as it was in English and. Although she can make herself understood she had enough sense to realize that this letter needed. To be grammatically correct and include words more advanced than she was capable of. So we wrote in on my PC and it was very obvious that the last thing I worked on in Word was my CV. She didn't mention it but stopped threatening to fire me. Worked for a company with the top guy with that attitude. They spent a fortune replacing people. And the people who stayed were, at best, minimally competent. In the UK telling an employee that they know where the door, gate is. Or this is not a prison, you're free to leave at any time is considered management bullying in. May be viewed as constructive dismissal. Putting it in an email removes any doubt or possible mishearing. And is a good way to be asked to clear your desk. Be careful what you ask for. You might get it. I had a position with a lot of responsibility for about a decade. And I was good at what I did. My managers were awful. A regional coordinator position was created. This person came out to my location several times a year, dug through my files and work area, and gleefully told me about all the people he'd fired. He told me he'd get rid of me too. If I weren't so good at what I did. On more than one occasion, I felt like it was only a matter of time. I'd been working toward a career change anyway. So once I'd had enough, I gave notice. General manager showed up in my office literally in tears. That was awkward. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.